Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited today because today at the Young's house, Jeannie Young is going to share with you all how I make mixed greens. We're going to do something a little different today. We are going to make the mixed greens that comes in the bag pre-cut, but we'll talk about that later. I have some lovely ingredients here. You all never had my mixed greens. You better make you some. Here's what you will need. So the first thing, of course, we have some lovely greens, and I have my greens over here in the sink that I have pre-started to wash. And we'll get back over there so I can show you how I wash my bagged greens. Right here, we have some lovely ham hocks. I honestly, I wanted to get some smoked turkey, but I could not find smoked turkey anywhere, so we'll just settle for the ham hocks. Ham hocks are amazing in greens. So right here, we have some onion. We have some sugar. We're just gonna use a little bit of sugar, but honestly, I feel like when you make greens, you need some sugar. You need some sugar in your greens. Is the sugar gonna make your greens sweet? No, not at all, not at all, but it does give an amazing flavor. You're gonna need some red pepper flakes. We're gonna use, once again, some jamón. I've been using that jamón seasoning lately, and it is a pork-based powder that is packed with flavor. It's so good. You never had it before, give it a try. We're gonna use some onion and garlic powder. We're gonna use some Maggie Pollo. If you cannot find Maggie Pollo, then feel free to get chicken bouillon cubes, okay? So you can use either one or the other, the bouillon cubes or the Maggie Pollo. You're gonna need some salt for sure. And we have some apple cider vinegar. Now, a lot of times when I make greens, and I know a lot of you don't like this seasoning, but it's optional. You can use it if you want. Accent. Accent is so tasty, especially when you're making greens. But like I said, it's up to your discretion. Now over this way, we have some fresh garlic, and this is a really big garlic clove. I don't believe we're gonna use the full garlic clove, but you will need fresh garlic. You're gonna need some bell peppers. Bell peppers are optional as well. Lately, when I've been making greens, I throw just a few pieces of bell pepper in there. It really brightens up the, the greens and makes it taste absolutely amazing. Get you some in there next time you make your greens. We have some better than bouillon chicken base right here. Feel free to use that if you like. Now, we're gonna definitely use the chicken broth that we have here, and alongside of our greens, we're gonna make some Jiffy cornbread. Absolutely, I'm gonna make some Jiffy cornbread to go along with our greens. We have an amazing oven roasted chicken that we're having today for dinner, and we have some cheesy roll tail noodles that we're having, or rotini. That's auto correction. Rotini cheesy noodles. So let's get started. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. The first thing that we wanna do, let's make our way over to the sink and I'm gonna share with you all how I clean my bagged greens. Now, before we walk over there, let's talk about the bagged greens. When you buy them in the bag, of course, they tell you that they are pre-washed. Please guys, don't, don't believe the hype when they tell you these are pre-cleaned. You have to wash your greens always, always, even if they tell you that they're clean. And so what I like to do is I will put the greens in a, and make sure your sink is impeccably clean. Fill that sink up with cold water and salt. And you wanna just give them a nice wash with your hands, just like so, move them around and that salt will serve as an abrasive and help to pull off the sand. And what the water will do, the water will pull the sand down to the bottom of the sink. So then you're gonna let the water out of your sink, refill it up, wash your greens several times again, refill it, drain it, refill it, drain it, until you see that there is no more sand in the bottom of the sink and your water will be 
nice and clear okay now I've started that process already I have washed my greens three times already so we'll do a fourth time together so you all can see what I'm doing one more thing when you purchase the greens that have been pre-cut you're gonna see that there are some big stems and a lot of people like to eat the stems. I'm really not that person. If there's a stem here and there in it, I'm okay with it, but I prefer to take the big stems out. So that's what we're gonna be doing when we make our way over to the sink. Let's go. Okay, so right here, you can see that my water is drained, okay? And what I wanna do is I wanna go back in I want to seal up my sink. I'm putting cold water in once again. We're going to let that water rise up to the top. And we're going to go through it. And you can see that I have just a Walmart bag here. And this is what I mean when I tell you you're going to find some of the big stems. Search for those big stems, okay? And if you see them, you just take the, you know, the good part of the green off of the stem and get rid of the stem. Okay? It's pretty simple. All right, nothing hard here. Everything that Gina Young does in this kitchen, you better believe you can do as well. And it's gonna turn out exactly like mine's would. Okay, so I'm bringing the water back into the sink once again, and I'm just taking out the unwanted stems. Keep in mind that I've already washed the green several times. All right, I'm just going in, taking some of the unwanted stems out. I'm not going to be picky and take out every teeny tiny stem, you know. But if there's a big one like this, get rid of it. Okay? I'm going to continue to wash my greens, and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, when you are making any kind of greens, feel free to use any type of meat that you would love to use. And like I mentioned earlier, I love smoked turkey and my greens. I just couldn't find them. So now... If you're using smoked turkey, you're gonna take a sharp knife and you wanna score um, slits in your turkey, just like I'm gonna do with this here ham hock. And here's how we do it. I just kinda like to go in, just like so in this manner, and put score marks into the skin and the meat. And what that does, at least I feel like what it does, is it helps this to cook up quicker and helps it to get nice and fall apart. <laughs> fall apart, if that's not a word, it's gonna be a word today. All right, so I just, you know, cut it however, just like so, so it can split open and get nice and well cooked. All right, we're gonna do that with each one of these. these are beautiful ham hocks. I was like a kid in the candy store when I found these. Come in and look at just how much meat is in these ham hocks. They're smoked, they smell so good, and they are packed with lots and lots of beautiful meat. What I like to do when I'm cooking the ham hocks, your turkey meat, whatever you decide to use, you can use bacon. Um, what I like to do is I want to start a beautiful broth. I want to start the beginning process of our pot liquor. Pot liquor is going to be the juice that the greens cook in, okay? And you want to make an amazing broth. And how I do that is I always start off my broth with a meat. You know, whether it's your turkey, it may be your ham hocks in this case, it could be bacon. But you start cooking your meat in your liquid. You can use water if you wanted to, but why not use chicken broth or vegetable broth? That's going to give you more flavor. Okay, so ham hocks take a, a nice amount of time to cook. We all know that. So I like to start them cooking and making this beautiful broth that our greens are going to cook in. I'm going to actually cook these ham hocks for at least about 45 minutes to an hour before we even add our greens, okay? That way our greens are gonna go into a pot of love, okay? So in with our meat, we're gonna put some bell peppers in, we're gonna put some garlic and some onions in, and we're gonna put all of the seasonings that we're gonna use for our greens right in with this meat, okay? So I'm gonna continue to score this meat 
just like so, kind of all over it. Doesn't matter how you do it. And if this falls apart in a pan, absolutely amazing. But sometimes it doesn't fall apart on its own, which is just fine because what we're going to do when our greens are almost done or when these do get nice and tender, we're going to go in and we're going to fish these out and we're going to shred off all of this beautiful meat that's inside. And we're going to take that meat out and then we're going to put it back into our greens and get rid of some of the skin in the bones. Now some of the skin I actually like to eat so I do leave some of it in there for myself but I take away most of it. Okay so let's do this. Let's start our broth. All right couple scores here and there. Doesn't matter how you do it. I hope you all are having an amazing day today as well as a great work week all right here we go with that let's take some onion we're not going to use all the onions we're just going to use half of it right now and this these veggies that are going in right now they're going to cook so long they're just going to kind of mush down into flavor land they're going to let off so much flavor like i said they're just going to kind of mush but we are going to save some veggies to put in towards the end of the cooking process that way you can actually see onions in the broth you know and you can actually see some peppers in the broth that you're going to be able to you know uh, like I, I don't know what's what's the word I'm looking for let me know in the comment section <laughs> if you can finish my sentence <laughs> all right so here we go with some of the bell pepper I'll figure it out. It's like it's like the cat has my tongue right now. It's like I can I'm trying to think of it. I feel like I know what I was gonna say, but I just couldn't spit it out. <laughs> and that's okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm having a great day today. All right, so we're gonna chop up some veggies. Don't worry how you chop it up. Like I said, listen, this is just gonna go down the flavor land. Get in there. All right, and we're not going to use all of it because some of it will be used for later. Keep that in mind. I love green bell peppers in everything. It just makes everything taste amazing. Okay, so now we're going to chop up some of the red bell pepper. Just like so. Remember, we're not chopping at all. We do want to have some for later. Set that aside. Make sure when you bring your veggies home you wash them off. You want to always wash off those pesticides and you never know who's handled your veggies before you brought them home. Okay so here's this. A little bit more and then we'll throw that in and then we'll put the garlic in. The garlic, all of the garlic will go in right now we're not going to put some garlic in now and some in later okay so here's that let me grab a different knife hold tight and i'll be right back okay i wanted to grab this knife that has you know a wider edge a little bit wider than this one so i can smash my garlic just like so it's, it always helps the chopping process kind of smashes your garlic for you and it also helps to take that skin off of the garlic because if you don't do that you're going to be peeling for days trying to get the skin off it's not worth it all right watch this we're going in we're going to chop up some garlic but i don't want too much garlic okay too much garlic and in greens it just doesn't work you know you don't need a whole lot a little bit goes a long way plus we're going to use some garlic powder I feel like when you make any type of green, there's a couple ingredients that you just have to have. I feel like sugar is one. I feel like the red pepper flakes is another. And I definitely feel like that vinegar is a key to successful greens. There's a lot of people that when they make greens, they don't put vinegar in it. And when I taste their greens, I say, okay, you know, it just, it, I don't know. I like a certain type of green. I have to taste a little bit of vinegar, a little tiny bit of heat, not enough heat to burn anybody's pants off. 
We're not trying to burn anybody's socks off, but just enough heat that it could be understood. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Does that make any sense, guys? <laughs> It'll make sense today. This part of the garlic I'm not going to use. I'm just going to set that aside. So now I'm going to go in with some beautiful chicken broth. We're going to use this as our liquid. All right, so right now we have veggies. We have our meat, any kind of meat, and like I said, you can just use bacon. You can use turkey bacon, turkey sausage, whatever you like. All right, just like so. And I have another chicken broth here. I want to cover my beautiful meat here so that it can start to get nice and cooked. And then we're gonna go in with our boyang cubes or your Maggie Pollo, whichever one you decide to use. For some reason, I feel like I should have used a bigger pot, but if that's the case, then we'll go in and switch pots. No worries, don't worry in the kitchen. No stressing out, don't stress out over it. <laughs> I told myself a couple of times, maybe I should have used my other pan. And then I thought, well, this one should work. I will just see. <laughs> I will just see. I'm going to start off with one bouillon cube. Okay? You can mash it up if you want, or you can just throw it in whole. It will dissolve. We're going to go in with some vinegar, and several times we're going to re-season with all of these beautiful seasonings. Okay? We're not going to season just once because we're going to keep tasting our broth and our grains several times until you get that perfect taste. Okay? Going in with some vinegar, just a little bit. Don't get crazy. Salt, not too much, but keep in mind we are making a nice amount of green, so you want to really season. We're going in with onion powder, garlic powder. Oh yeah. See this right here? This is amazing. It's going to taste so good. I could like sleep with this under my pillow. <laughs> I could. <laughs> I'm so serious. <laughs> because I know when I make greens, the pot liquor, they call it pot liquor. The pot liquor that you will achieve, which is the broth. My greens pot liquor is so good. You can just drink the green juice by itself and be happy. You hear me? I mean, that's how good it is. This pork powder is something else. Definitely something each and every one of you, you have to try. You have to try. Now what will naturally happen when you start to boil this down, some of your liquid will evaporate, which is just fine. That's why we have a little bit more chicken broth. You can keep filling it up if you like. Keep in mind that your greens have some water and your greens will create extra water. We're gonna go in with just two pinches of sugar. And later, if I feel like we need some more, hey, we'll put some more in. Let's make our way over to the big stove. We're gonna turn this on. We're just gonna let it cook on a medium high heat until these are nice and tender. Once they become tender, we'll make our way over to the sink throw our greens in. I want you to keep in mind that if you have a big mound of greens this tall, your greens will shrink down just like cabbage would. Okay, so you can leave half in the sink, fill your pot up with the greens, put a lid on, they'll shrink down. When they shrink down, you can come back and put more in. Be back. Okay, everyone, so there's one more thing that I want to do. I want to make some cornbread to go alongside of our chicken and our greens today. We're making Jiffy. I know, I know, I know. I know a lot of you frown upon Jiffy, but here at the Young's house, we love Jiffy, and I'm gonna make some. If you all want a good recipe, a homemade recipe for cornbread, I have a cornbread recipe that I did this Thanksgiving when I showed you all how to make a homemade cornbread dressing. In that video, there's my recipe for cornbread. So I'm just gonna put the Jiffy in my bowl. I don't measure, I don't measure guys. I just put the ingredients in there, whip it up, throw it in the oven, and it turns out perfect every time. I do like a little bit of sugar in mine. Not too much. 
but that's how we like it here at the Young's house, being honest. I feel like I need to grab, I should probably grab a bowl because I need to crack my eggs into a separate bowl. I don't want to get any eggshells in with my mixture and I have to throw everything away. Be right back. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, let's crack the eggs and this time let's get them in the bowl. <laughs> the first egg didn't get in the bowl. It made it to the floor. <laughs> But have some fun. Have some fun when you're in that kitchen. Make cooking fun. Cooking can be fun. You know, a lot of people get stressed out when they're in the kitchen. You know, and I try to tell them, have fun. Make it fun. Make it a family affair when you all are in the kitchen together, cooking together. Turn some music on. Let one person chop. Let somebody pour, let someone else season. Have fun when you're in that kitchen, you hear me? Absolutely you should. All right, so once I get that perfect consistency that I'm looking for, I just throw it in my pan and I've oiled my pan. We're gonna put this in the oven 350 degrees until it puffs up and get that perfect color. And we're gonna smear on the butter. Smear on the butter just like so. Let's get this right in the pan. Ooh Better make you some. My cornbread, guys, when I make cornbread, you can just, you can just eat it with nothing. You don't need anything but a nice amount of butter on top and go at it with a nice glass of milk. All right, here's this. I'm going to bang it on the counter a few times to get some of those air bubbles out. Going in the oven, be back. Okay everyone, take a look at this beautiful broth. And what I want you all to look at, look at this meat and you see how it's starting to slit open and get nice and tender, look at that. That's because we put that slit in the meat. You can take a peek at this one too, it's starting to burst open. That's what we're wanting, the meat is starting to get nice and tender and I'm happy. So now we're gonna go ahead start putting some greens in now once we start to put those greens in you got to turn your heat down you can never ever cook greens up on a high heat because they will turn into mush and we don't want that all right put as much as you can in and then you can put a lid on and remember earlier i told you all that they will start to shrink down and once that happens we can go back in and put more in okay so I'm going to put just a little bit more. I will put a lid on top. And when it's time to put a little bit more greens in, I'll be back. Hey everyone, you can see how the greens have cooked down just as I said so. So now we're going to go in with the rest of the greens. I think, I think, I think I can pile them all in. And if I can get them all on there, I'll be happy. <laughs> There's nothing like mixed greens. I absolutely adore collard, kale, and especially mustard. Oh, amazing together. All right, they all will fit. And now I want you all to look over here to my left at my spices. What I like to do when I'm making something like this that we're gonna go in several times and season, I like to set everything that I'm gonna be using right beside me so I don't have to run here and there. It'll all be right at hand and I can just go in, put it in, taste it, you know, and continue to cook if I need to season again. It's right here. Let's take our cornbread out, it's done. Going in. Beautiful. I just put a fork in it a few minutes ago and it's done and it's nice and beautiful. We're going to wait a few minutes and then we'll cut down into our cornbread, slather it with butter. Be back. Okay everyone, let's take a peek in at our greens. All right, so here's what we have. Everything has kind of, you know, shrunk down. Just like I said, I want to taste the broth. I want to see what seasonings I need and what I don't need. That's a little tiny spoon, right? Where did I get this teeny tiny spoon? <laughs> There's no babies in this house. Mmm. Mmm. Dang, that's good. 
oh like it's good now but I want some more seasoning okay so we're gonna go in that is so good with some garlic powder a little bit of onion powder you couldn't imagine the flavor that is coming off of this smoked ham hock and that's what I taste the most it tastes so good mm, it's all gone. I do want to put one capful of vinegar just one capful beautiful I want a little bit of salt not too much don't get crazy with the salt just like so and I want to put a little bit of the Maggie Pollo. Just like so. We're going to give that a mix around. Just like so in this manner. Oh yeah. You can just smell how beautiful it is. Now that everything is starting to cook down, the meat feels nice and tender. Very shortly, when we come back, we're going to go down in this pan, grab the beautiful ham hocks out, and we're going to tear off that amazing meat and then put the meat back into the grains and just let it simmer. Just let that meat cook in with this beautiful seasoned greens. Oh, my mouth is really watering right now. All right, so we're just kind of pushing those spices down into the pan, just like so in this manner. Like, guys... Listen here, when is the last time you all had a nice bowl of greens? Who are you about to make you some? They're, you know, they, they're so easy to make and everyone loves them. The kids love them, the adults love them. You know, your neighbor might love them. <laughs> make a big pot and take it to work. Just because. All right, so now what I want to do, we're going to put the lid back on and we're going to continue to let this cook for a little bit. And when I come back, we're going to grab those ham hocks and take the meat out. Right now, I want to make my way over to the cornbread. And we want to put some butter on. All right. You can see where I put a little bit of butter on right before we walked over to the stove. I wanted to make sure that my cornbread wasn't too cold. I should have put this butter on while it was still nice and warm, but guess what? We'll work it out. We'll work out anything. Hooey, look at this. My goodness, the pot is, the pan still is a little bit warm, so it will definitely melt. Beautiful. If you want, drizzle you a little bit of honey on there and listen here. You are set, baby. Hooey. Be back. Hey everybody, let's have some fun. Take a peek down at our ham hocks. Look at what I've done. It took me two seconds. I just pulled it off. It is so tender. I got rid of the bones and the extra skin. I did leave in a few pieces of the skin because I absolutely love it. All right, now let's scrape this goodness right into our greens. And not only are we going to put the meat in at this point, but we're going to put that extra bit of veggies in okay because remember earlier i spoke about the other veggies that we put in in the beginning they kind of just cook down you know into flavor land we spoke about that now we're going to put these in and as far as these onions i'm not going to use all of those onions just a little bit is all we're going to need all right beautiful oh baby and as soon as our veggies are done, we're going to say a nice prayer. I'm going to give you all that first bite. These greens are almost done. Okay, everyone, let's take a peek in at the greens. They are done, and they smell so good. I can't wait. Look at this. Oh, look how gorgeous. Let's stir it. Look at that beautiful pot liquor we have. You wouldn't believe the aroma. We have that nice tender ham hock and those beautiful veggies. Listen here. If you all enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends my mouth is watery. <laughs>
<laughs> tell your family and friends and everybody you know hey, tell the whole world about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis absolutely Heavenly Father Lord Jesus we thank you for this beautiful meal today Lord we thank you for your love time your mercy and your understanding Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our mind in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy that you bring us. We thank you for that. Amen. You all get that first bite. Let's go. Look at the guys. Like... It's never been so hard to talk because my mouth is literally salivating. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Here's what we're going to do. I have a little tiny ramekin that I'm going to use for my bowl because I just want a little bit right now. I really want to be able to enjoy my dinner with my family. So I'm going to take a bite, but it's just going to be a little bit. Look at this. Oh, it's gorgeous. My goodness. It's beautiful. The meat. I want some of that beautiful pot liquor. You cannot have these greens without that pot liquor. This pot liquor right here, I can just, I can just, look at me, I can just drink it like that. Whoo, you better believe I can. Oh, and pal in the meat just like so. Oh, whoo, baby. My little tiny bowl here. All right. And I want a little tiny piece of cornbread. I'm going to use this piece for myself. So I'm going to take a piece off, but that'll be my piece for later. Look at this. Mm. Mm. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. I'm going to try my best to blow this just a little bit. Hopefully I can cool it down because it's really hot right now. I want you all to take a bite of this while we wait on the greens to cool down a little bit. Look at that. Taste that. Oh, I'm going in. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's so soft. Mm. Mm -hmm. Has that perfect sweetness. Can really taste that butter on top. Mm -mm -mm. Now we're going to taste these greens. Mm -mm -mm. Cannot wait. Ooh, look at the meat. Mommy. I got the paper paper towel stuck to my elbow. Come on and cool down because I want to eat you. Taste this, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. 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 The meat is so tender. This is so good. Mm. Y'all never had mixed greens. Gina Young style. Better make you some. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. And now for that pot liquor. Look at it. Give it a try. And as always, God bless you all. Thank you all for watching. Good night. Mm.